We are the Tech Sisters. My name is Rima Pachava. My name is Pragya Chaudhary. And my name is Jaya Chaudhary. I was a lead in set design. I was a lead in cues attachments. And I was a lead in programming. We had a lot of fun with this WLRC mission. Though we had a lot of challenges, such as a lack of consistency on Q's part, we were able to move past those challenges and have a lot of fun. This mission was a rewarding learning opportunity. Let us show you the final mission. Good news! We have identified the mysterious creature from Mission 5 as a northern fur seal. Let's find, about more about, let's find out more about her and her kind. The northern fur seal classification is... Why tell it to them when you can wrap it to them? One, two, one, two, three, four. Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Cordata, Class Mammalia, Order Carnivora, Clade Pinnipedia, Family Odoriety, Genus Calorinus, Species Cirrus Word. That was really good, Pregnant. The northern fur seals live in the open ocean. They're mostly solitary and are nocturnal species. They have two main habitats: the open ocean, where they spend eighty percent of their life in, and the sandy or rocky beaches, where they molt, reproduce, and rest. The northern fur seal's diet mainly consists of a wide variety of shellfish and squid species. The northern fur seal's diet depends on the time of year and its location. Pups of the northern fur seal drink its mother's milk for the first four months of its life. Fun fact, northern fur seals don't chew their food. They swallow it in large chunks. The males head to the breeding island in the beginning of May. They spend 50 days there, and their mate depends on their fighting ability, their size, and their location. The females mate at the ages of five to six. They're, they give birth in the beginning of June, and their babies leave them after four months of living with them. The northern fur seal's migration goes as south as California and as west as Russia, which covers around one-fourth of the Earth's circumference. During the winter and summer, the, uh, the winter and spring, the northern fur seal migrates in, in search of food. During the summer and autumn, the northern fur seal stays on the island where they rest and reproduce. Fun fact, the northern fur seal spends around 300 days of the year in the sea. There are four main predators to the northern fur seal. Killer whales, sharks, stellar sea lions, and foxes. There are other threats to the northern fur seal. They can become entangled in marine debris such as abandoned fishing nets. Their food supply is restrained due to commercial fishing. And environmental toxins such as oil spills and microplastics can affect their immune system and pollute their food chain. We think that northern fur seals are so cute and we want to help them. Help us help them by spreading the word. Thank you! We are finally done with the food drawings for uh, the northern fur seals. So Artemis and the northern fur seals, their main food is fish and squid. As you can see, we have different colors and different sizes. This was not an easy task. It took a lot of calculation and a lot of wasted paper. And we hope Artemis will enjoy that. Thank you. To understand the northern fur seals diving patterns, scientists use GPS-based tracking devices to track the movements of the northern fur seal along their path in the open ocean to forage for food. Did you know that in New Zealand, scientists use cell phone GPS trackers to monitor the New Zealand fur seals? 
However, these GPS phone trackers require cellular service to function, and even the normal GPS trackers use radio waves, which can't travel through water. This causes them to be unable to get data on the diving patterns of the northern fur seals. Also, trackers disrupt the streamlined shape of the northern fur seal's body. This causes drag, which causes the northern fur seal to go slower and ultimately use more energy. It can take months for the northern fur seal to adapt to these attached devices. In our opinion, the design of the ideal tracker would be small and smooth, so as not to disrupt the streamlined body of the northern fur seal, causing no discomfort. It would be able to log continuous and accurate data, regardless of whether the fur seal is at the surface or deep underwater. Thank you. We are using Lego Mindstorms to prototype our tracking device for Artemis. We are using two gyro sensors to detect trends left and right and up and down, as well as the infrared sensor to detect distance traveled. Let us show you how our tracking device will work. As Artemis goes searching for her babies, we are collecting data on her movements in real time using the Lego Mindstorms data logging software. This is the demo of our tracking device. That's the sound of an adult fur seal. To relocate the babies, we have created an attachment out of Lego Mindstorms bricks. We, to pick them up, we have an arm that has sticky tape at the end that can pick up the babies. Originally, this attachment was too heavy for the cue head to hold up, so we created a counterweight on the other side to balance the head. To unload the babies, we have a touch sensor, a Lego Mindstorms brick, at three motors. When the touch sensor is pressed, it will run a motor which will uh, pull a lever which will knock the ball off. The first press of the touch sensor turns on the first motor. The second press runs the second motor and the third press runs the third motor. To press the button, we are turning Q's head like this. Thank you. This is the mechanism to drop the babies in the cup.
Yeah. yeah.